I was taking a shower and I found a lump. And it was like right before my daughter's birthdays, a week before their birthdays. And then I tried to call the nurse and I tried to call the doctors. We played phone tag for a month and a half, two months, because it was right at the pandemic. I know that it's more, a lot more common in more Native American women than other races. And I didn't want to do it, but my girls were scared and they, they said, Mom, will you please get it checked out? And that's why I did. We are the future leaders support system right now. It's important that we take care of ourselves so that we can take care of them and also teach them how to take care of themselves when they're our age. We need to set the example for them that we care about our health, we care about our bodies, we care about our minds, we care about our spirits. If we show our children that we care about ourselves and show them that we care about them, they learn it. Don't allow yourself to go months without getting help or seeking help or asking why this is happening and I'm not feeling good. I need something different. Don't let anyone blow you off. You know yourself best. Prior to my diagnosis and my role, I could say that I had sympathy for people. I had sympathy for the survivors that came into my office. I helped them as much as I could. Now I have true empathy for these people. We have many different resources to help our survivors. We have our behavioral health department to help survivors cope and their families, our commodities and our social services department to help with food, tobacco treatment specialists to help quit smoking. We have gas vouchers to help people get to their appointments, a provider who is wonderful and happy to help anyone and answer questions along the way. I don't like to ask for help. I'm not a person that, that will ask for help. I, I will not ask unless I really, really have to. And But when it comes to checking for breast cancer, yes, it is very, very important to ask for help because I want to spend a lot of time with my family and my kids. And I don't want cancer to be the be the reason why I'm gone. I want it to be old age. <laughs> so the best way to advocate for yourself is to use your own voice. Understanding after I've worked here for over 20 years, that sometimes that is difficult for patients to feel comfortable because you are intimidated by the amount of information you're receiving about the cancer diagnosis. So it's okay to have things written down. It's okay to have a list of questions. This is all about you and it's your diagnosis. It's nobody else's. If the longer you wait to have something done, to have a screening done, to find out what is going on, the more at risk you're putting yourself in. Cancer is not is not pretty. Um, it's ugly. It replicates fast. Some of these cancers are so aggressive that weeks and months do make a difference. So please come in, have your preventative screening done, get that peace of mind. And if it is cancer, we can detect it early and quick and get you through your journey and on the other side. I think as a tribal council member, lead by example, let them see you. I've let them film me. I let them take pictures of me while I was getting screened so that other women can see Look, she doesn't look maybe look like she's old enough to be screened, but she is. We have a community that is safe and healthy, and you are not alone. We need you to know that. We're here for you. Early detection is the best, and check your tatas, because mine tried to kill me, and I want to stay and live a long life with my kids and grandkids. <laughs>